Hi, it's Mike Stevenson here, um, Integration Playbook video. So I wanted to do a little introduction to a um, community project that myself and uh, a colleague of mine, John Paddington, have been doing. And we've been chatting about this idea. I mean, it, it, it's kind of based on an idea I've had for ages and um, me and John were chatting about doing something just to help us out. Um, and what we've basically done is we wanted to create a way that we could have an integration catalogue of interfaces and then generate some diagrams for it. So um, the the idea was to um, put together a little web app that you can, in this case, I'm going to embed it in Microsoft Teams. And what we'd like to do is have a way of generating a diagram where we can filter by applications and by projects and stuff like that. So what I want to do in this video is really just um, kind of give people a little look at the app we've built, um, show you how you can use it and um, hopefully it'll it'll help other people out. We've shared this on GitHub and um, you know we people can easily sort of um, add this to your projects if you think it would be useful. So what I'll do first, I'll start by showing the, the, um, the little app, how it um, shows you the diagrams and then we'll work backwards to how the, the data we had um, gets used to generate the app. So here on the screen I've got Microsoft Teams. I've got my little diagram tab here where I've, um, I've I've basically just added the website tab and I've put the link in for a URL which makes this show up in Teams. So what we're going to do, I'll, I think I'll see if I can just... Um, I'm not sure, why isn't there a tab to narrow that? Put that to one side. Um, the, we'll have a quick look here at this. So we've got um, our diagram. We haven't done the data flows bit. We'll be doing that at a, a future point. We're really focusing today on system integrations. So here I've got some filters at the top. And what will happen is, depending on the filters I pick, a diagram will get generated here in a list of um, system integrations will be shown. So let's take a quick look. If I say in my programs, let's pick my supplier management program. So I picked that program and what, what happened was behind the scenes um, there's a list of interfaces we've got here that belong to the supplier management program and you can see they've got um, one of those interfaces that go from SAP to IBM, SAP to the supplier portal, SAP to CRM and these basically get drawn on this diagram. So what we've done in the diagram is there's a, a project called Mermaid so I'll, I'll just see if I can drag that in to show people. Um, so I'll just show this here. So it's a community project where you can um, write text up here and it'll generate diagrams. So here's the entity relationship diagram. So we're kind of cheating a bit um, by using this, maybe not necessarily for what it was intended, but it, it's a really easy way of, um, we can basically generate this text, which um, the widgets you get with Mermaid, they'll just generate this diagram from that text so it gives us a way to um, on the fly generate a suitable diagram. So if we take a, a quick look back um, over in Teams here, if we think about a couple of things we could do, so one of them might be show me all of the interfaces that involve SAP, so if I choose SAP I can, um, I can you know see which ones, um, so we've got you know here we've got the supplier sync from, IBM, from SAP to IBM, from SAP to the supplier portal, we've got Truck Tracker sends information from uh, Truck Tracker to SAP. So one, one of the things just to note here, we used on the diagram the idea that the bit where the little dot is, that indicates data is coming out of here to SAP. If it was a two-way interface, it would have this, this kind of at both ends, it wouldn't have this little dot on it. So in the data, I'll show you in a minute in our catalogue, you can kind of reflect that and it'll update how the diagram shows. Um, I could also do things like filter to show um, other things that are in dev test. I could say, give me everything for the partner and the, the finance project. And basically, it'll just generate and refresh the diagram based on the interfaces that match the filters that you've picked and then the the interfaces that got used in the diagram will be listed down here so for example if I, if I kind of put um, everything in that will be all of my interfaces that I've got in my list and the idea is that you would just build your own list up with everything in it so if we take um, we take a look at how we got the data behind the diagram so 
if we look over here I've got uh, Microsoft lists added to my uh, team here so I've got um, a list of projects so I've got a list of project names down here and I've got a list of program names that those projects belong to so many many businesses will be doing programs which have projects which deliver interfaces that kind of thing I've got another list which is the list of systems so I can see I've got a list of different systems in my, my um, proof of concept architecture here and then the third list is a list of integrations so one of the points to note that the data flows thing I mentioned that we'll add another page to the, the little app at some point that's where we see if you want to go a level down and you start looking at what data is involved in the interface from one system to another whereas at this level here the system integrations we're kind of saying here in this top row we've got an inter a system integration called int01 it's from it involves SAP and IBM the label here supplier syncs what will show on the line on the diagram so if we, if we just take a look here that'll be the label um, so you can reuse that label across multiple and, and kind of various things. I've got a status column to show the product, uh, sorry, to show if it's in production or dev test. I've got a bi-directional to show if there's um, a one-way or a two-way interface. And then the project, I've, I've created a column. Now you might have to go into SharePoint, I think, because um, I think you can't create these kind of columns direct through teams with lists. But if you go into the SharePoint site behind it, so to do that you, you can just go onto files and there'll be a little link to open it in SharePoint and here I've got my system integrations this is just the list behind the scenes and if you edit it in SharePoint you'll be to take, uh, create a lookup column which will point to that other um, other list which has the list of projects um, you can do the same for these ones here if you want to have a lookup list from another list instead of just um, typing them in and, um, and I basically just build up this list with all of my system integrations in it and then what we do is um, so over here in Azure so if I drag this across um, I've got my github page where the, we've put the project resources in Azure I've got a storage account and um, I've got a container over here called arc diagram and I've got some uh, some files in here so what I can do is um, here we, we basically need the dashboard CSS and the index.html so they're, they're in github you can grab them and put them and the idea is for just for the demo purposes to keep it easy I've embedded it in uh, I've, I've just put it in blob storage but in the real world um, you might want to put it in a in an Azure app service or something that's got Azure AD security on it maybe or you might just want to put it in, in um, on a file server somewhere. That there's a couple of different options you've got, but uh, I've just chosen to use Blob Storage for the minute. Now, what I've done next is um, in Power Automate, I've created a um, a, um, a flow here, and what this flow is going to do is um, I've got a couple of couple of variables, but it's going to go to my list here, and it's going to get all of my integration projects. And then I'm going to do a loop over the projects that come back. Um, I've chosen to um, check what the direction is, and I'm going to set a variable. So here I'm I'm going to set there's a string variable which is one way to tell it what you know decide what the diagram wants to draw the arrow to look like. Um, and basically what I'm going to do is um, create an array of information from that SharePoint list in this format here. So this is gonna um, gonna tell me, you know, what it um, what it looks like um, for that interface. So we've got source, system, destination, label, direction, and I'm basically gonna create um, the the blob data and put that in in a, that uh, storage account. So if we go back, um, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. So I'm going to create this um, data.json file. And if we have a quick look here, you'll see. Um, let's see if I can just. I'll open a Visual Studio and just show everybody this. So just 
just drag this over. It's, this is what the JSON looks like. It's just an array of these um, these items here, and you you can build up your data dot JSON, and that that really is the data that's um, driving the the um, web app. So once once that uh, Power Automate kind of runs, I'm going to create my um, data dot JSON file. What I'm also going to do is I'm, I'm just going to GitHub so you can go to the, the URL for the, the dashboard CSS and the index and I'm just updating, grabbing a copy of them and stuffing them in my storage account as well. And that means um, I'll be able to just, just run those files directly. So, um, so if we update anything in the repo it'll update those files as well for me in my storage and then I can just embed them in Teams like I've done. And, um, and if we have a quick look, so um, if we have a quick look in GitHub, so th this is the file um, John wrote where we've got a load of JavaScript in here that's basically going to just look at that data.json and um, we're going to sort of filter the data that you want in your diagram and then down at the bottom here, um, let's check which bit it is, I think it's this bit here. We've got, uh, we use the mermaid object to just render the diagram and we have a reference to um, the JavaScript libraries that mermaid offer on their website. And that'll basically just refresh the diagram so that when we look at it in Teams, um, you know, you'll get this, this nice diagram that you can just refresh to, sh you know, say, I want to see CRM, I want to see IBM. This will just show you which interfaces are in that. So it'll give you a good way to have consistent diagrams across your projects you can just take like a snip of the diagram put it in your in your deploy uh, your architecture documentation or whatever you could also start doing things like impact analysis so if somebody comes along and you've got the library of um of integrations that you've built up and somebody says well we're going to make a change to this app what interfaces and system integrations might get impacted you'll be able to start working that out quite easily from the diagram and this is our first step for um, some of the work in, we're doing in projects to kind of get in our catalog of integrations to on the one hand help us generate documentation and diagrams and i think we're going to try and do some more stuff with it as well to, to um with other diagrams and other other bits where we can relate it to our physical components so i think this is the start of a couple of things we might do but hopefully we, we just wanted to share this out really to give people a chance to have a look at it um see what they think give us some feedback and um, we're open for ideas for people of, of other things we could do um we think the mermaid um stuff works quite well on this diagram we think we'll maybe do like a um Something like a sequence diagram might be quite a good way of, um, of showing data flows, we think, even though it's not really using the diagram for what it's supposed to be used for. It, it still quite illustrates the concepts we're going to get across um, by showing an, an arrow with some type of data going from one source to destination kind of thing. So we think that could be quite interesting. If anyone wants to kind of throw a few ideas around, please get in touch. Um, Hopefully people will find this um, this useful and check out the um, GitHub page if you want to grab the the assets for it and we'll put a couple of bits of documentation in uh, the integration playbook. Um, huge thanks to John for helping out with this and uh, hopefully people will, will get some good use out of it.